How's it going everybody? Jason here. Thanks for checking out the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make collapsing and expanding panels. I don't know what the heck these things are actually called, but if you've got a site that has multiple columns and let's just say that you want the user to be able to expand one of the columns to a full screen view or half a page or whatever that is, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, here's an implementation on my own site that I use it for. I basically did this because this whole page here needed a redesign, but this was not too terribly useful here on the right hand side because when I would get lots of people in my events, you'd have to keep scrolling to find all the comments from people. And I thought, you know what, before I redesign this, let's just make this easier and build a little slider thing. Now I could have made this possible where you can click and drag it over, but right now this is basically all it does. So now you can see uh, comments and stuff from people and you can put it back to see all of this stuff. All right, so you can skip this part if it's not valuable, but I do like to show the approach to building this stuff because if you are proficient enough in bubble and you're just not exactly sure what you would need to do to implement it, here's basically how you can do it. So if you say this is the left column and this is the right column and you've got fixed sizes on these types of things, what you'll need to do. And the way I implemented it is I created a custom state of expanded, which is just set to a yes, no. And then the same thing on this side, you don't need it on both sides, but this is just the way that I actually built it. So I had another custom state on this side that said uh, expanded and it was a yes, no thing as well. And then the other thing that you'll obviously need is some way of toggling it. And what this toggle is gonna do when you click on this, it's basically just gonna check and say, um, is the right column expanded? If not, expand it. And then set this custom state to expanded being no, and that's what's gonna cause it to shrink. So it's really, really simple to do, and I'm just gonna show you the simple implementation of how to get this done. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same application that I've been using for all of my tutorials, and it doesn't really need functionality like this, but I'll just quickly go and build it so you can see how it's done. I'm just gonna add two panels on the bottom here and then just show you how you can make that expand collapse thing work. So let's go to the default tab, which is the song list tab. And the first thing I'm gonna do is make a two column group on the bottom of this. So right underneath the repeating group and just to make things easier, I'm gonna put a background color on this so we can actually see it. So there's the main container that I'm gonna use. Let's just put a little bit of padding in here. And I want this to be set to row in the layout. You could do the same thing if you wanted accordion style up and down ones and you wanted them to expand and collapse, you could leave it as a column and kind of do the same thing. So let's add a couple of groups here. So this is going to be my left column and I'm gonna add a custom state and I'm gonna call this expanded, yes or no. And let's change the background style of this. And now let's duplicate this and add a right column. And I'm not gonna worry about any padding there. And let's just change the color of the right column. So by default, if you don't specify any constraints, Bubble's automatically gonna make these 50% wide each. So here's my columns here. But what I want to do is I wanna set a maximum width on my, let's rename this just to be good, right column. I wanna set the maximum width of this to say 320 and this can be whatever you want. So now what I need to do is add a custom state to, oh, never mind, I copied it. So the custom state is already in both. So the way the logic is gonna work, there's going to need to be some type of button. And what I did on the implementation that I showed you is I put a border style just on the left-hand side Let's just set this to, well, let's make this 10 just so it's a little bit more obvious. So there's some type of divider there and a button. You can use a button, you can use a group, you can use whatever you want and you can style this kind of however you want to as well. 
but I'm going to try to get this as close as humanly possible to the implementation that I did. So I'm going to set this to toggle. And I want the max, I want to set this to a fixed width. And let's just say 15 pixels should be good enough. And I want the height to be fixed as well. And I'm going to set it to say 35. And then you can dress it up however you want. If you want to put an icon in there with arrows to tell the user that there's something that they can do. Let me change this to 20 and 20. And let me just change the width of this to 25. It's a little bit bigger. And I want all of this to be, oops, I don't want this to be centered, but I want this icon to be centered. Now, I can make this overlap by adding a negative margin. So if I wanted this at the very top, I could just go in here and put a margin of, say, negative 15. And then now when I go back to this page. So here we go. So this is what is actually going to control it. So I need to add a workflow option on here to set the custom states. Now to set the custom states, what that is going to do is I'm going to create a condition on each one of these columns to change the width of the column. So for example, the right column, I'm going to set a condition that when this group expanded, that means it's yes, you don't have to use the is yes if you don't want to, then I want the max width to be, uh, let's just put it at uh, 75%. And with the left column, I have no max width. So it should automatically push that column over just to be able to expand that. So let's go here and let's set the state of the right column expanded to yes. Reload the page. Kaboom. So there, it's set the width of that. Now, if I wanted a little bit more control, what I could also do here is I could say when the right column expanded, then I want to set this max width to 320. And I could actually just clear this entirely. So set the max width to infinite. If I go back and reload it, it's going to apply the max width parameter to this left column. So now this is probably 320 pixels wide and I've got that expander. So now I actually want to push it back the other way. And there's a couple of ways to do it. The easiest way to do it is just to duplicate this group here and use a condition. So first of all, collapse this when it's hidden and don't display it on page load. Display it when right column expanded is no. So if this column is not expanded, then it's going to show that icon. And I'm just going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to change this arrow to be pointing the other way. Changes to arrow circle right. And I want this group. Again, it's collapsed. It's not visible on page load. And when expanded is yes, which you don't need the yes then make this element visible. And let me make sure I added this element is visible here. I can go back. So now that's the right facing arrow. And now I need to add a workflow action just to put things back where it was. So add workflow, set the state of an element, set the right column expanded to no. And then now I should be able to toggle these things back and forth And that's all there is to it. You can obviously style this however you want. You can use whatever kind of buttons that you want to use for it. But if you need the ability for the user to be able to expand things, or if you've seen those little full screen icons, for example, you can do that as well. And then use basically using the same thing. So set a custom state, full screen, yes or no. If it's yes, then you use a condition to set the maxed width and height to 100%.
So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Drop a comment below if you've got any other questions about this. And remember to hit like and subscribe. See you next time.